development, we are told in Luke 2, 51 following, that he grew in wisdom and stature. So again, there's the humanity, physically, intellectually, there was growth. And even uh, in his adulthood, Hebrews 5, 8 says, the son learned obedience. So even he had to learn, learned obedience through the things he suffered. So there was learning, there was growth in knowledge, but as to divine consciousness, uh, well, I cannot tell at what point the earliest given to us of a, of a conscious Jesus was already conscious of his unique relationship with the Father. Uh, what's the second question? Christ in Luke 3. Uh, the son of Adam is tracing the fact that the lineage goes back to Adam, but Luke himself is, has given to us through the announcement of the angel in Luke 1 uh, that uh, the one born by Mary is through the Holy Spirit. Uh, over, he, she will be overshadowed by the Holy Spirit, uh, but that, that does not make Jesus superhuman. He's still human. And the way to say that you are human is you belong to Adam, but in terms of generative linkage uh, by procreation, no. But in terms of lineage of human, the human race, Jesus belonged to the human race. A quick follow-up po. Um, may effect po ba yung, ano, yung view ng sin? Kung alimbawa ay, hindi uh, ko alam kung yung naipasa yung sin by generation, will it affect the... No, I do not believe so. Not the guilt, not the corruption of sin because those are the two sides. Not guilt or the corruption, but because he belonged to the human race, he uh, experienced the limitation of humanity including the frailty and the weakness of humanity, with, which is not yet at its glorified state. Now, when he was glorified, we know that he, his, even his physical characteristics assumed uh, capacities not present in unglorified human nature. But Jesus was never sinful but he always was human from the time of his conception. Thank you, Paul. Okay. Other questions? And question, uh, again, use the chat or video. Introduce yourself and your church. Let's take a break. 